Boom. What is up, everybody? Thank you for joining me. This is Jay Dumont bringing you an episode of Let's Ball with College Hoops 2K8. I think I fixed the issues I was having. The reason that the storage was filling up was because it has a live flashback mode that was turned on by default. Not good. Let's go ahead and simulate through this day. Do some recruiting. Um, and I closed five port ahead of time, so. Oh man, Staple is feeling us. Let's have Lou Davis visit him at home. And Vadim Hornsby. He's a solid B, C player. Let's visit him at home with Luke Lawson. Carpenter, Otis Carpenter in California, he's just excited to be here. Charles DeWitt, I like DeWitt, let's visit him at home. Keep in touch with Tyron Borges, was it? Keena Boxler. I don't remember scouting him, but okay. That should be all recruiting this week, so that was easy. So next is Nickel State. They're 0 and 3. It's early in the morning. I haven't had my coffee yet. Let's look to manage this roster. Delicious coffee. Starters. Jimenez is playing confidently. McElroy is. Isaiah Hall is a little confident for getting some time. Uh, we're going to keep it with the same starting lineup. Go about what, nine deep? And we'll say ten in case we use Ernest Crisp. Development is good. Let's get right into the game versus Nichols State. Wish there was an easy way to scout them. I don't even know what conference they're in. Going to see Nichols State. They would simply one game and beat Ken and uh, and UNC. Not seeing Nickel State. Is anybody seeing Nickel State? NCAA, that won't tell me much. Looks 
They're on three. East. Come on, man. Where's Nickel State? Uh, let's try going to NCAA here. We can't. Okay. Well, we know they're 0 3. So, uh, yeah. Let's give it a shot. <clears throat> they're a 67 overall with a pretty good offense, but terrible defense. A little bit better unity than us, our young team. It's a home game. First time for the fans to come out and support us. It's time for College Hoops 2K8. The Nickel State Colonels take on the UC Davis Aggies. This should be a whale of a game. Hello, basketball fans. We're here at the Pavilion. This is Vern Lundquist with Bill Rafferty <coughs> and Tracy Wilson. Give us your take, Bill. The story here is the matchup at off guard. Webb is definitely one of the best shooting guards in the nation. You've always got to think about the double team when he has the ball in tight. He's a one-man wrecking crew. Walsh is a tremendous shooting guard as well. This guy is a defensive powerhouse. This is the kind of guy you just love to have on your team. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. Can't get overconfident. Control the opening tip, and we'll get this one started. Jimenez. Bucky. The contact, in the air, Starting the game off the right. Pretty, Good pass by Jimenez. Good for the we are at home. Boyce inbounds the ball. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Well, just before the game, I talked to Coach so Davis. State got. He told me that the speed of the team on the other end of the court is a huge concern. He said, we have no excuses tonight. They have such great team speed that if we don't hustle back on defense on every trip, they'll be shooting layups on us all oh. game. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, yeah. They wasted no time right there. The opportunity was there, and they seized it. Goes up. The finger Man, roll was flipped up and in by Halsh. But they're still behind by three. We're playing with some confidence. Passes. Left wing. Get to Bucky. He's Morris got it set. deep. Backs in. It Bucky. Drops. <clears throat> He's got five. Looking good early. Has it in the paint. Oh, he nice spin move. He gets Boy. up close and personal and closes the deal. Leaves no room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about it. Lops it to the free throw line. Three second and violation. He's camped in the lane there and he gets the three second call. Not bad. Hulk inbounds the ball. Shiloh. Skips definitely it got the size ball. advantage on this team. Seabrook. And I 
Uh, still give up inside points. That was my fault there. Lucky. He misses the first. Can I shake the camera? No. And he's going to come away empty from the line. Right around 18 minutes left in the half. Dishes it to the wing. Rises and dishes. Webb from deep. Got it. And they're out in front by six. Oh, Bucky. To the stripe. Boyce connects on the baseline Boys. jumper. Mm. They close the gap to four. Marie brings it up the floor. Gets it out left. Just shot that. Jimenez ends it off. Doyle tosses <clears> it up <throat> off target from 16 feet. But they're Thinking still out in front by four. Outright <laughs> dumps it inside. Oh. He knew exactly Comes he Bucky leading do. the break. Got the chance, Bucky the all the way coast to coast. <laughs> Bucky went coast to coast. No one stopped him. That was awesome. And he's there for the help defense. Oh. I thought Bucky was going to get a reach in and go coast to coast again. Hey, if they don't pick him up, Bucky will go all the way. He's got skills. Slow-footed average four-man here. This is Bucky Morissette. He's a hustler. Makes the hustle plays. Dumps it off. And when he gets rolling, he starts making a bunch of them in a row. Boyce backs down. Swing pass, left wing. Leggett. Good D. Catches it, left wing. The D, shot they got nothing. Down. They got nothing. To the wing. Misfired on that last three by Shiloh. Shoots it. Hmm. The jumper was off the mark by Webb. Still a six-point lead. Skips it to the top of the key. Hulsh. It's a lot easier to get shots against this team, I noticed. Passes it to the baseline. Reeled in by Marie. They're still down eight. Webb gets it far side. Backs him down. Feeds to the free throw line. Doyle launches one from beyond the arc. Boyce corrals the miss inside. Just he haven't been able to get Doyle's that close on a shooter. shot Just down yet. Just getting a hand up will bother most players enough to make the miss. Catches it on the free throw line. Seabrand feeds it <coughs> to the wing. Tomorrow. Last basket Shiloh. on the mark by Shiloh. Shiloh wasn't shy about that one. <clears throat> Doyle inbounds the ball. About 14 and a half minutes left in the half. Left wing. Webb, the crossover. Ah, I tried to and post up. up. By Shiloh. The break is on. Great anticipation. Offensive, and Offensive foul, nice. Protect the basketball. Oh, and Marie. What a job. Report. Sacrificing the body. And this defender is getting on my nerves. One on one. 
no one was open. Five second goal. I just pressed the stick to go into the shot. His man was in his pocket the entire time and caused the turnover. Trying to bully ball him. This is it to the stripe. Pulse passes to the high post. <clears throat> Passes back, right wing. Hulsh unloads from 10 feet. It falls short. About 13 and a half minutes left in the half. Webb backs in, catches it, right wing. Morissette beats it to the corner. Webb gets it to go. They're in front, 14 to 8. They're coming up with a little half court trap defense, hoping it will force some turnovers. Got him. Wasn't watching the line there. That's going to be over and back. You gotta be careful around Ooh, yeah. half court. You can't just drift around back there. Morris set inbounds the ball. Doyle. Oh, a little step back. And they now go up by eight. Hulsh gets it right wing. Pass to the free throw line. Shiloh. Can't get it to fall from downtown. Well, you can't afford to spot the other team any more points, Vern. They're in danger of letting this game be over before the second half. Pulls the trigger. I short armed Couldn't it again. I knew I did. Not holding the button long but enough on his shot. It's deceptive. Oh, that's Leggett. not Hall. That's this Brendan Mack. Left wing. I keep forgetting his name. McElroy. The they rule this one goaltending. Count the shot. Bronson McElroy. Substitution making a few court. lineup changes. The Nickel State coach court. may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Backs him down. Doyle releases from 16 feet. Seabrand yanks it down in shaking my head. Seabrand did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Last ray off the mark by Garland. About 11 and a half minutes left in the half. That's what a coach wants from his defenders. Stay with your best shooter and don't give him any easy looks. That oh, by that was a deep one. Got your back, boy. Passes to the corner. Crosses it over. Leggin that weak gets stuff it. out of here. Garland. Trifecta. And they're now behind by six. Marie brings it up. Dishes. Left wing. McElroy. Backs down. Oh, he's too big. Catches it. Left wing. Bronson. Garland. Pulls it in. Still a six point lead. Got nothing for me on offense. Leggin dishes <clears> to the right. <throat> High post. Beats it to the left wing. Jackson passes it to the baseline. Let's play the middle. Bounce pass. Left wing. Look at this guy firing threes. No on the three point attempt. Just over 10 minutes left in the half. That's a great job getting a hand in the shooter's face. Any more room than that? And nah. Just sink it. Get in there. Even if he did walk with it. <clears throat> Garlip. This Garlip guy wants to shoot some threes. Catches it. Right wing. 
Jackson dumps it off. Yeah, but Paul Leggett enough offense. Pushes it to the wing. I was off to the races there. Beats it to the baseline. Shoots with the clock winding down. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Drink my energy drink. The Constitution are going to make some substitutions. The Aggies take a timeout. It's closer than it should be. Absolutely no shooting. I'll try to mitigate that with shot selection. Coach Davis may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Perhaps the greatest moment for this young program was their upset over the Stanford Cardinal in 2006. Perhaps the greatest moment for this young program was their upset over the Stanford Cardinal in 2006. That was a really huge upset. It happened during the regular season, but it cemented the Aggies as a legit team on the Division I level. Hey, we just beat Texas, boy. That's even bigger. Anderson throws Whoa, it up. give me that. Can't hit from beyond the arc. They've got a Ferdinand's lot of running. On offense. Good shots will come if you don't rush them. Felton! Voice inbounds the ball. Got to bang it inside with this team. Only shooter on the floor is Williamson. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Miniman. Skips it to the strike. Anderson gets it. Oh, they're firing threes away. Last shot missed from three point range. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. Don't have to mess with right my sliders. Pass right wing. I Hines. dare you. Swings it to the corner. Pulled in by Marie. The defense was up to the challenge on that shot. Good job closing on the shooter. Ledbetter backs in. Out left. Connects. Ledbetter. He's got that mid-range, Jay. I know that. Notice he didn't run to the three-point line. He ran to that mid-range. He's like an Eric Snow type. That's how I look at Ledbetter. He's my bulldog off the bench. Eric Snow. He even looks like him. Bounces it to the free throw line. Hines. Jackson catches it. Cross court. What are you going to do with it? You ain't shooting in Ledbetter's face, he'll block it. I wish you would pull up Skip in Ledbetter's face. Jackson with the shot. Oh, we're giving him too many no open looks. The, the D sloughed way off him, and he still somehow couldn't get it to go. Marie has it left side from the baseline. The McElroy with the tip. There you go, Bronson. That's how you do it. The nickel state coach is going to let his team have it. He just can't be happy with the run that they've had just now. Go a little deeper. Get Ernest Crisp some time. <laughs> Ernest Chris with the two. Well, looks like they're to inbound the ball. Let's keep one starter out there. But this game we can try a few different things. I kind of like this lineup. It's a gritty lineup. Oh, look at this guy Jackson, putting the moves on nice me. Box out. That's his third rebound of the contest. Don't count on him missing too many of those, especially when they're playing off of like that. 
backs down. Dumps it down low. Hall lets it go. Can't get the jumper to fall. But they're still up by 10. Hall's out there firing away. He's got a big body to contend right. with. Feeds corner. Oh, and he can shot. shoot threes. The offensive board gathered by Jackson. Legan. Big fella shooting jumpers Gets out there. Right we got a Bob Lanier here. No. Bill Lambeer. Halt passes it to the stripe. Can't lay off him too much. Baseline. Dishes to the paint. Jackson. All their big guys can Jackson. shoot Gets jumpers. From 15 feet. But they're still behind by eight. Rises but. and dishes. Colonel Ledbetter throws the pass offline, and it Why did he do a spin move? That was just a lack of communication right there. One guy was going one way, while the passer was thinking just the opposite. They're going to double team him. Takes it up. Whoa. The lay in was Hulsh. good by Hulsh. He's got four. Just over five minutes left in the half. Marie skips it to the wing. Williamson with the shot. And I'm this too late on Williamson's three. Still a six point lead. Too early on Doyle and too late on Williamson. Release. Jackson takes it up. Fouled hard. All right, I don't like this lineup. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Both teams are going to shake things up. Five straight on us. Gets the second to fall as well. Seabrand didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Williamson inbounds the ball. Under five minutes left in the half. Spread out the zone a little bit. Has it on the free throw line. Puts it up. Bounced off the front rim by Webb. But they're still out in front by four. Bold pass to the elbow. They got a little bit of a zippy offense. Let's step up our game here. Get that out. Jimenez. They were too lackadaisical on that possession, Vern. They've got to kick it into gear before the shot clock gets too low. They're going to apply some pressure here and with full court. Man, man. Bounces it to the elbow. Man, I want to pop these shots, but. High post. Webb backs him down, pulls the trigger. Hulk snatches the rebound. That's Simple a tough conversion, angle. and somehow it doesn't fall. Those are the kind of shots that will haunt you for a while. Hulsh beats it to the high post. High post. Dishes it to the left. Seabrand. Yeah, I knew Webb can recover so I can play Hulsh free safety a bit. Back to the elbow. Jackson. Gets it on the elbow. Leggin releases. Misses the three-pointer. They're still down nine. McElroy hands it off. Leads him with the pass. Nice pass. Finishes with the soft touch. <laughs> and they're out in front by six. Get back to doing. Inbounds the ball. Our type of thing here. So it's something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. Oh, 
And that's our shot selection that really needs work in this game. Well, let's get back to the action. Both teams will make some substitutions. Get Bucky. My main man, Bucky. Oh, I thought I had that. <laughs> Bucky Bronson would have been a good name. See, I know I can clear ground with Morissette too. Dish, top of the key. Oh, I On forgot he could shoot threes. The three pointer was no good by he ain't shooting threes. Two twenty six left in the first half. Lucky break for the defense. Whoever was supposed to be guarding him better wake up because the next time it won't be a miss. Morissette. Boyce pulls it down. Bah. set gets the reach in call, and that's foul number two for him. She it ran a play for him there. To get the theft, and he was too slow that time. Boyce inbounds the ball. Two minutes remaining. These bigs were knocking down their threes, would be in trouble. Garland passes it to the top of the key. Feeds it to the right side. Garland from the wing. Jimenez gets the board inside. Swallowing it up. Brings it up court. Look at the big fella. Pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. That last three corner was missed by Morissette. I can't buy a three. Boyce shoots from the post and begs it right in. They close the gap trap on that pick. 118 left in the first half. I don't know what the double team button is. Get a shot, please. Pulled in by Seabrand, and that's his fourth rebound thus far. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Okay, left bumper is the double team button, so if I go to trap, Garland. Press it the off. double team button. They're bringing the double team. Webb gets the rebound. They can go two for one here, Vern, if they hurry it up. Ledbetter passes to the left side, to the elbow. Goes to the crossover. Doyle tosses it up. Boom. Down from three point lane. He's one for three from deep. These people aren't loving it. You think it's getting loud in here or what? Lobs it to the middle. Shiloh. Dishes to the left wing. Garland has it right wing. Back top of the key. From no way. Oh. He's shooting 50%. In Webb's face. All right. This team is putting up a... Uh, Battle, I see Downtown. here. First half comes to an end with the score 30 to 26. Colonel's Nickel State playing hard. <clears throat> Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play by play and color. Very even so far. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Webb is my pick, Vern. He's finding ways to score every trip down the floor, and he's carrying his team. He's been a force on the offensive end and is putting on a show for everyone here. A phenomenal performance. I noticed Bucky Morrissey gets plays in bunches, whether it's points in bunches, Steals and bunches. Coaching night. Uh, not pressuring them, not causing turnovers. Play some bench players. I don't see them burning us off the dribble. More pressure on D. We're more the team. Basically, we're better than them. Play better. And we're a bigger team, so let's crash the boards too.
Let's try the half court trap at all times. I'm just doing all right. I'll be putting in that work. Brandon by our bronze and McElroy with four and three, not bad. Who's killing us on their team? Walsh, Boyce. We're all set to begin the second half, so let's get back into it. Start the second half. Oh, he went back court. That should have been a turnover. That's a perfectly timed trap. Hulsh. Has it right wing. Legan swings it to the right wing. Just Jimenez with the block. Legan grabbed the rebound and whips it ahead. Misfired on that nice last box three. out. Voice. Let's check in with Tracy Wolfson. During halftime, I talked with Coach Davis. He said that he wasn't content with the lead they built and thought they could do some things differently in the second half. Coach said that even though his starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of showing different looks on offense. Back Into to the you big guys. man. Okay, thanks, Tracy. We'll see if they were listening. <laughs> Close range shot missed by Jimenez. Did he just airball that? Beats it to the high post. Dunk it on their heads, big fella. Hulsh. Feeds, top of the key. Leggin. Come on, you gonna post up Jimenez, little guy? Shoots it. The three-point shot was offline by Shiloh. They're still down seven. Marie throws it up. Can't connect on the quick shot. They've still got a four-point lead. He's double teamed. Give me that. Ugh. With the floater. Good Man, job on the layup Hulsh. by Halsh. He's shooting 50% for the game. Right wing. Doyle takes the shot. <laughs> And the ball will land out of bounds after the errant shot. I get the cigarette out of my hand. Seabrand inbounds the ball. The Colonels can even the score with a hoop. <sighs> what was that for a trap? Oh, I guess it was on Jimenez. Seabrand dumps it off. Bounces it to the high post. Raises up. Him the They're boys. in the lead thanks to the basket by Boyce. They took the lead. Nine points. And he's his team's leading scorer. Passes. Left side. Let's get some passes in this offense. Marie. Backs in. Ah. And it's gathered up by Boyce. The Colonels still hold a narrow lead. Get that out, says Jimenez. Hulsh lets it go. Off the mark, thanks to the tight D. But they still lead by one. Dumps it inside. Webb. Connects. Oh, 13 points, and he's the top scorer. About 16 and a half minutes left in the second half. They're coming with a How did this bust their zone a bit? Right they try the half court press. Beats it down low. Pass. High post. Voice. Shoots. Oh, <laughs> a three point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line. Fouled. Shooting two. Lucky third. Let's get the death lineup in. Out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest.
Get Ferdinand hit some threes, busting up the zone. He gets them both. Jimenez inbounds the ball. All right, time to start playing. Catches it, left wing. Doyle passes it to the baseline. Left wing. Puts too much on it. And it's still all tied up, 33. Doyle can't shoot, man. Knocked loose. Ah. Dishes to the top of the key. Leggin with the crossover. Hulsh, 14 feet out. Jimenez has it. And that's his seventh rebound so far. That's not a shot you expect him to miss. I'd tell him to take it again if he gets the same look. Under 16 minutes left in the second half. What a pass. Get it. Nice board oh. Work. He makes rebounding look easy. And believe me, it's not burned. Oh. The shot was clearly affected attack by the, the rim. contact there. Good call. Fast break, attack the rim. Even if that Doyle's not strong, not a strong point. If we can't shoot, then attack the rim. Or else we're getting Irvin Crisp in this game. <laughs> Ernest Crisp. We're getting the Crisp Meister out here. M. Goff is another. I don't know his first name. Goff. He's a thought we can try. He gets the second to like these underdog well. type players. Inbounds the ball. Goes up. Oh, jeez. The finger roll was Garland. laid in by Garland. He's three for seven. Come on, for the push game. the tempo. Webb dumps it off. Jimenez has it out left. It drops. They're leading 27 to 35. Right around 15 minutes left in the second half. Here comes the double team. Here comes the trap. Dick. Oh, I should have had that. Seabrand takes it up. Doyle corrals the miss. He attacked it Bring with it everything he had, but it still wasn't enough. Good defense, not letting him jam it home. Puts it up, snatched down inside by Jimenez. Jimenez. Here you go, big guy. Jimenez. He worked so hard to establish position. They're now out in front by four. Oh, I thought Jimenez Seabrand was going to have to block that. from 13 feet. <laughs> Bricks it off the front iron. If they leave a shooter like him open next time, believe me, he's going to make them. He's pay running for the it. floor. Give it to him. He's probably winded. Shooting two. Menace is feeling it. He's grabbing boards, he's blocking shots. Give it to the man. Knocks down the first one. Give it to Ransom. Ran her, ran him in his. He gets them both. Seabrand inbounds the ball. Nickel State is really struggling. Uses the crossover. No, oh, I was coming. Menez was coming. Shooting two. Trying to bust this game up a bit. Get that six man in it. And he makes the first. He gets the second to fall as well. They're playing a 2-3 zone, Vern. Trying to take away their low post and force some jump shots. Webb, the crossover. Gets it right wing. Webb passes it to the top of the key. Last for off the mark by Marie. Right around 14 minutes left in the second half. She ran. Fought for that rebound. That's some toughness for you. Left wing passes back to the wing. Seabrand. Shiloh takes the three. Shiloh. The They're now down by one. Over Webb. Dumps it to the inside. Marie has it top of the key. 
Jimenez backs down. He's just too big. In, but it won't go. They're still up by one. Give me that. Reflected, but it's recovered by Give me that. The Colonels can get back in the lead with a basket here. Swing pass, left wing, shoots. No, oh, man. They take a two point lead. Williamson inbounds. The, the crowd ball. is booing. You see Davis Rightfully has been so. On the wrong side of this long run. And Tracy's got a report for us. Coach Davis is frantically talking to his assistants, trying to come up with a plan on defense to stop this run. He is not pleased with their current setup, to say the least. All right, Tracy. He's doubled up. Leggins tosses it up court. Four. The Colonels will take a timeout. All right, let's see if Bronson McElroy's got something for us. Led better in early. Just gotta get better shot selection. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. Boyce inbounds the ball. Shiloh. Catches it, left wing. Left wing. And they're just playing with the ball out there. Yes, He's got Oh my gosh. Leads him in, goes up. The beautiful pass led straight to the layup by Maxwell. Right on the floor. But still down by one. Beats it to the right wing. And they're busting threes on us. Jackson gets it on the strike. Shiloh raises up. Just hit an open the Jays. They're up by three. Pass, top of the key. Ledbetter. Catches it, left wing. Backs him down. Puts it up. Shot from the baseline. Nailed by Webb. They cut it to one. About 11 and a half minutes left in the second half. Here comes the trap. The spin move. This game they're doing it all on the outside. Shiloh puts it up. Can't get the three point yeah. four. But they're still up by one. Williamson doesn't get the go ahead Lucky. basket to fall. It doesn't matter how far you've got to go. No, to get Ferdinand. The Every rebound is essential. Garland has it far side, crosses it over. Move your feet, Ferdinand. Skip pass, left wing. Shiloh. Gets it, left side, unloads. And the shot is banked in by Boyce. He's shooting 55% for the game. Dishes to the free throw line. McElroy from 17 feet out. Under 10 minutes left in the second half. Unattractive miss right there. There wasn't a defender in sight. McElroy can't shoot that though. From 18 feet away. Brought in by Webb. They still have a three point lead. Ledbetter pulls the trigger. Can't finish in the post. They're still down six. Shiloh with the crossover. Why is he wide open? Shiloh. 
All right, we have serious problems now. His web needs to sit down. It. We gotta go with the small lineup. And now we gotta get some of that defense. The hustle. This trap ain't working. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Substitution. It really wouldn't surprise me if this kid gets picked on on the defensive end. A bad groin can make it almost impossible to change direction, and the opponent knows that. Who's got the bad groin? Doyle. Ledbetter dishes it to the left. Williamson shoots it, comes up empty from Man, 20 feet wide out. open Under shots. Nine minutes left in the second half. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Halsh. All the guys are skilled in shooters. Goes to the crossover. Marie with a nice D. This guy can usually finish in traffic, but the D was too good. Oh, you sucker, him. MC. Stolen away by Leggins. The steal. The that really waiting for there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the mistake. <sighs> that last layup was missed by Ledbetter. Right, Dumps it into can't the paint. Panic here. Voice hands it off. Legan has it on the free throw line. Corner. Nice little crossover. The shot They're just too skilled. Everyone on the floor can shoot for them. Points. Thirteen unanswered. Get in there. He'll get two free throws. Holy cow! He can't bust up their two-three zone. Guys are missing wide-open shots. And he makes the first. Now time to panic, you have plenty of time left. We need some Bucky magic. He gets the ball. Alright, let's hit with this full court press. Seabrand inbounds the ball. Just, Which I just seven messed up left in the second half. Leggin passes to the left wing. Seabrand gets it on the strike. Just a very skilled team, and everyone on their team can shoot. Bold pass. And Give me that. It up by Marie. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Misfired on that last three by Williamson. But yes, Bucky. He's four for six for the game. But yeah. By Leggins. Has Double team him. Double team him. He went out of bounds. That works. He lost track of where he was That's just not heads up Bo Jackson enters the game. Williamson inbounds the ball. Ledbetter backs down. Left side. Williamson Keep letting it fly. Three. Can't hit it. it in. Just he can't hit the three. He got the look he wanted to there, Bill. I would Why can't he hit the those. three? Light you up in a hurry. I see it coming again. Jackson. Dishes to the left side. Ferdinand's all over the floor. Hulk has it right wing. Log baseline. Leggin fires. Off target three by Jackson. 
But they're still out in front by five. Ledbetter passes it for a side. High post. Nice little crossover. So shot that. Williamson. Feeds it to the left. Marie, baseline oh. jumper. Oh. Count it. And they now trail by three. Jackson inbounds the ball. Let's make this a full court trap. Just over five minutes left. Oh, give me that. The steal by Marie. Boom. All right. Web of the three. Jimenez, I don't know, man. We have to match up with their skilled bigs. We're out there shooting threes. I don't think Jimenez can cover that ground. Thinking of Bronson McElroy. Williamson's not hitting anything. You know, let's go with this grimy and gritty oh, team the here. The Aggies are making a few lineup changes. Should have been pressing a long time ago. Nickel State is shooting itself in the foot with oh. all the turnovers. Tracy has something for us. The head coach is not sugarcoating the issue. He told his assistants, our fundamentals are abysmal. And then added, the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can take care of the ball. Oh. All right. They're only up a point. Can he shoot? Well, mid-range. Come on, crowd. Knocks down the first one. He's going to crash this board to get this rebound if we need it. He gets them both. McElroy inbounds the ball. Backs in. Marie catches it, right wing, dishes, cross court, Webb, the 15 footer, right in the bottom of the bucket. He's got 17. That's time for replays. We got to get this defense going here. Get it. Ledbetter with the steal. And the reverse. They're doing everything right on both ends of the court. This crowd is going insane. I love the energy the crowd's going Listen wild. To... This is much Gets closer it than it should be. Hulk dishes to the wing. Although we're actually rated right the same. To the strike. Passes to the baseline. From 17 oh. feet average. That one was drilled by French. They're ahead. 60 to 59. McElroy. Backs him down. I should have shot that. Marie lets it go. Trains it from the low block. The nickel state coach wants to talk it over with his troops. Hey, keep it going. Got the time out, you might as well use them. You can't take them to the bank with you. Marie's going to play like the full court press, and he's going to trap here. Inbounds the ball. About three and a half minutes left in the second half. Burning a lot of energy on defense with the turbo, but. Dishes it to the elbow. Passes right wing. Shiloh. Oh, can't leave him. Get it to fall. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Has it left wing. Marie backs him down. Rises and dishes. McElroy beats it to the left wing. Out left. Bounces it to the free throw line. Webb takes it up. Boom. They're now up by three. He's double teamed. Don't let Shiloh shoot. Wherever he is, I think Webb's on him. French catches it right corner. 
That last trade, no good. What a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot. Oh, I should have popped it. Let's use a little time, though. Baseline. Backs in. Well, throws it up. Gets whistled for a foul. Oh. Shooting. Whew. This game is too close for comfort. And what killed us maybe was a lackadaisical approach, but. And he makes it. All their guys are skilled and can shoot, and that's kind of how I want to build my team. Centers could shoot threes in mid range. Their power forwards could shoot threes in mid range. Everyone on the team can shoot. Second to fall as well. Hoist inbounds the ball. Oh, I thought I tipped that. The Colonel. Oh, you're in trouble now. Oh. I'll just match up. Thing ain't over. They were scoring at will on us. Pass. French kicks it out to the wing. Corral by French. Boyce has it on the perimeter. What an offensive rebound. He's doing work on the glass at both ends. Hulsh. Leggin dishes to the high post. They have to score one more bucket. And we got this thing. Depending on what Nick French does here. Gets the first, and that narrows the gap to four. He could have cut it to one possession if he got all of those. They still have their work cut out. Better. Not the shooting guard spot up. He's at X. Give me some of that Bucky magic. It's Bucky magic. We got this Guys thing now. Ooh, that was close though. That was real close. Thing coming back. Passes to the right. Bucky's a monster, close range. Pass out left. This thing's all over. Oh. Seventeen fouls is the one and one. Thought it was five. French inbounds the ball. Leads him with the pass. This thing's over. Too close. I can appreciate their willingness to keep fouling Vern. And it should have been. Fouling isn't going to do them any good anymore. Shiloh just picked up his third foul of the game. Penalty situation. They've got to stop the clock and get the ball back right away. I think it's a little wow. too late for this Fern. They're just prolonging the agony by fouling because this game's out of reach. Can't get a better free throw shooter at the line. They gave me a serious scare there. We had to step it up in these last minutes. And that's how college basketball goes. Get some scares from all kinds of teams, and the games will play out differently. Figured him to make that. That's all she wrote. You see, Davis knocks off the Colonels, 69 to 61. And now it's time to show you our player of the game.
now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Hi and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel and we're going to bring you our Pontiac Game Changing Performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The UC Davis Aggie used this shot to take off on a huge run. This game might have had a much different outcome if it wasn't for this sequence. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raffi. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports. Ooh, what a game. Check out these teams. We shot better than them, but they killed us at the three-point line, eight to four. We didn't get that many free throws. Everything else is pretty similar. But we killed them in points in the paint. They killed us with bench points. Pretty balanced teams here. We had three steals, played a great game. 21 for Webb, typical. Gotta get his shot down. Bucky killing him again. Rahul, three block, three assists, ten boards. Gotta get his shot down too, one for nine. Led better. Did his usual thing, came up with a big steal. McElroy was nice. Isaiah Hall was 0 for 2. Alrighty. We go to 3 0 on the season. Next up is Portland State Vikings. play that in the next episode and I'll say thanks for joining me for this exciting 2k uh, hoops game and my nerves are still kind of frazzled over that nickel state on five now we try a Portland State team who if we well I won't mess with it and here's the signing period starts we may be able to sign that Demetrius to play possibly not for this season but for next season I don't know if I'm ready to give him one of my two uh, scholarships, though. Anyway, thanks for joining me. See you next time when we play the Portland State was it Vikings. Vikings. We'll see what happens, man. This is a crazy and wild team uh, season. Then we have Brown. We hit the Ivy League circuit. Duck Dartmouth. Oregon State's 2-2, two and two, but they're going to be tough. Jackson State, the UCLA Bruins, they're ranked number four now. I didn't know Marquette was going to be this good. They're seven. And then we get into conference play. And Northridge and Riverside are looking good, so we're going to have some competition. See you in the next episode. Peace.